this computer. I'm going to put my glasses on this time so I can see. Sir Lilypad, A Tale of a Small Frog by Anna Camp and Sarah Ogilvie. Here we have our spotty pages. We have Sir Lilypad turned into a statue. What a hero. And here he is in his swamp. Three big frogs and one little frog. Once upon a time in a deep dark bog lived a teeny tiny speckled frog. His brothers called it called him Little Tad, but he preferred the lily pad. Ta -da! Sir Lily Pad the proud and free, a knight in slimy armor he. Sir Lily Pad the brave and wise, slayer of the dragonflies. But no one takes you seriously when you're not much bigger than a pea. And so Sir Lily wished and longed to grow up big and tall and strong. Then one night tucked in his nook, he read the most terrific book, Frog to Prince with one small kiss from a grateful royal miss. <gasps> really, he thought? Yep. Sir Lily scratched his speckled head. I never thought of that, he said. If I could save a princess, true, I'd surely grow a foot or two. Next morning, feeling tough and brave, he hopped off to the local cave and found an ogre vast and green, are watering his runner beans. Halt, fell ogre, where's the dame? Creaked Sir Lily, eyes aflame. I just kind of looked at him. The ogre shook his massive head. I'm far too old for that, he said. And you're too small, don't you agree, for bashing giant folk like me? You should be getting home, my dear. Does your mummy know you're here? Sir Lily blushed from tip to toe. But was he beaten? Heavens no. He was off in search of that princess. And so he searched the bolted towers. The forest and the field of flowers. The witch's house. The wizard's tree. But everyone was princess free. Hmm, how bizarre. By now, Sir Lily had a stitch. Oh, it was all puffed out. And his chainmail pants began to itch. Ouch. His sandwiches were getting soggy. Oh, what a wretched little froggy. But wait a sec. What's over there? Aha. Uh -huh. A sudden glimpse of flowing hair, sparkling eyes and cherry lips. Oh, a broadsword slung around the hips. Oh, still never mind. She's a fair princess. And in a dragon's grip, no less. 
There she is, Princess Sue. Her name is. Who's, who's Sir Lilypad? What's he up to? Sir Lily gave a mighty croak and charged right through the dragon's smoke. Release that maiden fair, he roared, then poked him with his wooden sword. I don't think it really hurt him though. Oh, I say, said Dragon, do you mind? It's rude to creep up from behind. Having a tea party. But Sir Lily, undeterred, pretend that he hadn't heard. So he jumped up onto his nostrils. And he said, now flee back to your darkened den or else I'll poke you in the bottom once again. Then it looks like he's falling off the dragon's snout. Whee, and landed in the princess's hand. And she said, oh, slow down, froggy. Laughed the lady, that's my friend. No need to save me. And have you seen me in a fight? I just don't need a noble knight. No, nope, she didn't want saving. She didn't want to be kissed by a prince. Or a frog. Brave Sir, brave Sir Lily turned quite pale then suddenly began to wail. <laughs> wail means crying. But now I'll be forever small and not a proper knight at all. The other frogs will call me stuff like weedy pants and sugar puff. I'll always be a tiny tad and never brave Sir Lilypad. Oh. The princess shook her head and laughed. But Lilypad, you're being daft. Froglets can be heroes too. Why don't you come and join our motley crew? Can I really, Lily blinked? You betcha, Froggy, Princess winked. So here she is. She's knighting the frog and she says, Arise, Sir Lilypad the Green. Bravest frog we've ever seen. I think he liked that. From that day on, our fearless knight forgot his under average height. He sought adventure and joined the fray. Here he is at the bottom of the yo-yo, held by Princess Sue. He's riding the dragon. I love this page. Got pirates, treasure. This looks like a sea monster. Maybe a shark or piranha fish. And poked some baddies on the way. So poking him in the bottom. He cut the bullies down to size and stood up for the little guys. Till news spread far across the land of Lily and his gallant band. Here he is, everyone celebrating him. And this is my favorite page. And centuries later, tales were read to wide-eyed tadpoles tucked in bed of all the great adventures had by, by small but brave Sir Lilypad. I love those tadpoles in their bed, like under a leaf. And their mummy's reading them a book of Sir Lilypad on the back of a fish. And there's our spotty pages. And that's the end.